Vancouver, British Columbia. We're here for the weekend. We've got three days and we're gonna try to see as much as we can. So let's start with day one, exploring the downtown core of Vancouver. And I'm here with my boyfriend Andrew and my friend Sarah from university. And Sarah is our tour guide for the day showing us the downtown core of Vancouver. Let's let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to day two of our Vancouver adventure. We're gonna make our way up to Whistler, BC today and make some stops along the way. Check it out! How does it feel to be driving a Tesla? Well, it's very awkward. <laughs> Is it a lot different from a gas-powered vehicle? Yes. It slows down a lot when you take your foot off the accelerator. And then there's like a calibration. It keeps calibrating. It's high tech it's got this big screen on it also there's no like there's no stick here so you just kind of tap the the key card and it's not really it's not really um, like a sunroof but it kind of is Next stop, Capilano Suspension Bridge. Let's check it out. walked the suspension bridge and now there's this whole tree park um, so we're gonna walk it and just just explore and enjoy the views let's go
That's the front of a Tesla. Hexagons are the best events. It's like a little storage. Storage area. And now we're at the Sea to Sky Gondola, so let's go check it out. So we're at the top, um, and yeah, there's some nice hiking trails, a lot of options. We're doing the panorama trail, so I'm um, hoping for some good views. So we're gonna go check out our pod hostel and then we're gonna explore the town. So we're at Joffrey Lakes Provincial Park, which is about an hour away from Whistler. Um, this is the first lake of the three. It's called Lower Joffrey Lake. Um, you know, when there isn't snow on the ground and when the sun's out, uh, the water's supposed to be a turquoise color. Um, unfortunately, we can't really see that today, but um, still beautiful views nonetheless. just outside of Squamish, BC, and it's so beautiful. It's honestly, it's the most beautiful waterfall that I've ever seen in my life. So if you're in the area, 100% recommend. It's free to get in. Uh, it's just so beautiful. 